What is going on everyone? Currently Friday afternoon and today I have a workout. Going to be doing a 3 by mile 4 times 400 um, Getting the miles around like current 5k down to like goal 5k pace. We've got 90 seconds rest on those and then we're going to do a 4 times 400 just kind of you know pretty fast we'll see what they end up being um, but been racing a lot recently so it's going to be nice to get back in and kind of work out a little bit going to be working out on the indoor track because our outdoor track's up on a hill and it's super windy and kind of cold outside so just going to go on the indoor track today um, should get uh, a pretty good workout want to start recording a little bit more um, I always say that but I think it's time to start actually recording workouts and stuff like that start bringing my camera to practice when I can but yeah, that is basically it. Just trying to think if I have anything else to say. Got about an hour until I have to head over to the indoor track. Watching some March Madness right da right now. Um, leave down below who you got winning your bracket this year. But yeah, that is basically it. Uh, I probably will talk to you guys either right before I leave or once I get over there. So, see you guys then. I know I'm going to get some questions about this uh, in the comments, so I thought I would go ahead and kind of talk about it now, but I am gonna be working out in my next percents. And the whole reason behind that is just kind of, I've been racing a ton recently, pretty tired, and I wanna get in a good effort and kind of beat up the legs as little as possible. And I think these shoes are a fantastic um, kind of recovery tool. So yeah, that is basically the whole thought process behind that. I think yeah, I think we did like eight thirties for all of them. Over. Bend over. Bend over. <laughs> Are you doing well? Chase looks like that. All right, you have to ask questions. Uh, what work are you doing today? Uh, we're doing the one by four and then the eight by 200s. They're all at 800 meter goal pace. How are you feeling today? Feeling pretty good. You know, I'm feeling like Sean Pearson. Like I can, you know, just cruise down the home stretch and not even feel a thing. Bambi <laughs> legs. Thanks for the interview.
So I just got back home from the workout, showered and all that good stuff, ate some dinner, and just wanted to sit down and kind of recap everything that happened and kind of go over the whole workout to kind of wrap this video up. I ended up doing a three times mile and then two times 400 instead of four times 400 just to get the legs moving a little bit on the end, but it was a little bit tired, and plus with all the traveling I'm racing, I've been doing, um, it was just better to kind of cut it short. By no means was I like not hitting times or anything. I honestly felt pretty good, but just could tell I was a little bit heavy in the legs, so cutting this short and a lot of my other runs a little bit shorter than I typically would, um, just to make sure I am ready for this 5K coming up at Raleigh Relays. But uh, overall, pretty solid workout, went really well. Um, started out 4.53, I believe, and then kind of worked down from there. Um, had two miles sub 4.40, and I'm hoping 4.40 pace, um, 70s is around what 5K is right now, so 255Ks, 14.35. I think it, that's pretty reasonable right now with the training I've been doing, so hoping that that's kind of where I am. So to have two of those mile reps under that pace was good and I felt really solid. Um, you know, through 1200, I felt really good. Legs became a little bit tired the last 400 meters, but obviously, you know, I'm doing mile reps, so that's gonna happen. And I think it was a combination of the traveling and training over the past, you know, week, two weeks, but overall those felt really good and I was super happy with those um, to be able to do those um, above like goal 5k pace was great. And then came back with some 400s and the 400s were really good. I felt really smooth, which is nice to see um, 62 and 60 on those. So, you know, to be able to close that workout in 62 and 60 and feel really good while doing it was a nice confidence boost there. Yeah, overall, definitely this workout gave me a pretty big confidence boost. Um, have one big workout uh, left before Raleigh Relay is going to be doing um, 5 by K on Monday. If you are not following me on Strava, go ahead and do that. It's just my name, Chase Easterling. I post every single second of my training on Strava, so it's a really nice insight because a lot of the times um, I'm kind of busy and don't really post these videos. Um, but you know, I try to post as much as I can, but I post everything on Strava. So if you really want an in-depth look at kind of everything I'm doing, it is over there. But that is basically it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.